All right, man, you, you gonna get a cut later? All right, all right, I'm gonna see you in a little bit. YouTube, what's good, what's new, what's poppin'? It's your boy. Oh. Look at I ain't even peep this. Your boy needs a cut. Look at the widow. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to see if I get a cut today. John gonna have to do something to me, because, oof. John, what's up? Can I get a haircut today, bro? Uh, later, bro. I look crazy, bro. Look at me. Oh, nigga, later, Dom. You got me? I got you. I got a couple spots open, bro. You got me? Nigga, I got you. All right. But can you, can you do it right now? You're not doing nothing. You know, see, I'm working. I'm editing some pictures and I'm doing stuff. And I got to come coming though. All right. Look at this. I know I didn't ask you mad long ago to come my hair. Now you getting your hair cut? Yo, I, told you, I got you. That's crazy, you. bro. That's crazy. Well, since this dude don't want to come my hair, I might as well do a nice little tutorial for you guys today. We got my boy. He wants to get a nice high fade with about the five on top. So I'm going to take my number five guard and debulk all of the hair on top. Now 
Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the one and a half guard closed and pass it up to about the parietal ridge. And the reason I'm doing this is just to debulk the sides and have a nice clean canvas so we can get our feet started. Alright, so now I'm going to go and pass the two guard closed about an inch above where I passed the one and a half guard to make another guideline. After that, I'm going to go ahead and pass the one and a half guard open right under that to take that line out as you can see here. Now all that's left to do to finish the top of this fade is take the three guard and just flick out to take out that final guideline. As you can see here, I'm taking my rose gold Babyliss FX trimmers and I'm making the bald guideline for the bottom of my fade. This is gonna make sure that our fade is going from a real light transition all the way up to the top. Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna be passing my Babyliss shavers right under that guideline that we make. Now you don't wanna to go to the line. You wanna give yourself about like half an inch to a quarter inch under that line so that you're not uh, making a real harsh guideline. It'll be real hard to take out if you pass that up to the trimmer line. So make sure you don't do that. So here we're gonna be taking our wall 1919s with no guard open and we're going to be making a guideline about an inch thick. Once you do that, you're going to take the lever and you're going to put it halfway so you can start lighting up that area. You're going to take it halfway and then you're going to lower it all the way closed. And if you pass it and you still see a faint line, you can always use the trimmers to take that line out. Make sure you stretch the skin so you can optimize on the workspace that you have. Now we're gonna be taking our one guard closed and we're gonna make another guideline about an inch thick to keep fading this hair count out. After that, you're gonna take the half guard about halfway open and you're gonna pass it right under that line. And as you can see, that fade is starting to come together. Don't ever be afraid to do like a little bit of detail work in between. I always like to make sure the area I've worked on is all set before I move on to the next as I am here. So with the last couple of steps that we have, we're gonna pass the one and a half again, just to double check. This is what we initially faded into. And then we're gonna pass the one open to finally take out that last guideline. And as you can see right here, this fade came together pretty clean, man. Now moving on towards the back, you're just gonna repeat all the steps. I know the way I fade is a little bit different than what most of you guys see, but the way I see it is I'll do the guard closed, then I'll do the guard before it open and halfway to take that line out. So I'll do guard closed, I'll go down a guard and do it open and uh, midway to take the line out. Some people like it, some people don't. I find it easy. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Just to elaborate on one of the tips, always try to pull the skin up. As you can see, I have my thumb over his uh, parietal ridge area and I'm pulling the skin up so I can expand my workspace. When you're doing these fades that go from ball to a higher guard, it's hard to work in that little tight space. So what I try to do is I try to pull the skin so that I can maximize on the area that I can work in.
All right, so here we're gonna work on the lineup. Always try to start in the middle of the head. You kind of start with the client in front of you and you kind of see which side is higher than the other. Some clients don't have a perfect lineup to start out with, so you kind of got to work with what the canvas has. So I try to get in front of the customer, see how their front line is set up, and then I just work from one side to the other, starting in the middle. You always want to try to keep it as natural as possible at all times. As you can see, I barely touched this side. His other side was a little lower because of the cowlicks, and most of it was bangs, but you always want to try to keep a natural hairline for the customer so that the regrowth process doesn't look crazy. Always remember to pull on the skin as well, just so you give yourself the smoothest shape possible for your client. So I always like to pull on the skin down, as you can see there, and take little notches. That way it comes out clean and sharp. This client likes his eyebrows done, so I shape them up real quick. And as you can see, can't stress it enough, pulling on that skin so you can get the smoothest and closest shaves possible for your clients. I like to clean up behind the ears with the blade as well once I'm all set. And uh, we're pretty much done here, guys. So I'm just doing little detail works, cleaning them up here and there. And let's see what the finishing product came out to. YouTube, that's the cut. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If I did a good job, your boy was looking a little rough. I hadn't seen him in about a month, but you already know he came and saw your boy Cuts by Abneo and I had to lace him up. Check it out. Like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. The beats, if you like this, by my boy Level One Studios. His uh, page will be in the description down below. If you guys like any of his beats, hit him up. And uh, like I said, we're going to keep grinding and keep bringing out content, you guys. Now, only if your boy could get a haircut. I've been waiting all day. Yo, what the hell, bro? I thought I was going to cut your hair. Bro, you slacking, dude. That's, that's why I don't cut your hair, bro. Let me know what you guys think about them in the comment section down below. I want to give a huge shout out to my boy George Barber and my other boy Big John the Barber. He was stunting on me all day yesterday. Oh, he cut I was going to cut this hair. I had to get my boy George he to cut my dude. hair today. So George, holla at him real quick. Papi, si ustedes quieren lucir así como este tipo, quieren lucir así así calado, pasen por aquí por New Image, papi, y lo vamos a así calado, lo vamos a dar bien red. Ajá, tell him something too, Big John. This guy is killing me. He said that I didn't want to cut his hair, but I did want to cut his hair, but he changed it for this dude, but he's, he's the boss, he's the Puerto Rico boss. Don't forget to follow his channel. Stay tuned for whatever he's uploading, his own crazy stuff. And please look for the link in the description. I'm follow my channel down too, there. I'm have his page down Follow too. my channel to the life of a Christian barber. We're going to be doing a lot of Ooh. stuff. Big John the Barber on YouTube. Thank you for the love and Stay tuned for this guy right here. These man. are my barber brothers. I want to give you guys a big shout out. Yeah. Stay, tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.